What's up, Dirty Cones? Arr! Cody says, what's up, too? Um, contrary to what some people believe, I am not saying, what's up, Dirty, the other C word. Um, I don't have a problem with saying the C word, uh, but like I said, it's a, a family show. <laughs> so, uh, it's Dirty Cones. I've been told I have an accent, but then I've been told I don't have an accent. I've been told I sound like a New Yorker, and then I've been told I sound like a Californian, and then I've been told you have no accent. You have a very distinctive voice. <clears throat> so, uh, whatever my voice does, did, will do, uh, I'm just me. Uh, I try to be the best me that I can, and you should be the, try to be the best you that you can be. And, you know, don't compete with other people with yourself, be better than the you that you were or are, and be the beautiful cone that you will be, amen. Uh, so today's word of the day phrase is suffer in silence. <sighs> Not talking about like, uh, let, let's go grand scale. Um, so it's a really good book you all should read. As, as I've been told that I, I was shown a box this weekend of books that I had uh, suggested somebody read and they were reading that book, those books. So uh, I guess I, un I understand that you guys listen to me and uh, you know I'm here to help you. So um, we're in this together, all of us. Uh, so yeah, suffer in silence. Not PTSD issues, not you're gonna kill yourself issues, not you were molested, raped, assaulted, things of that nature. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about uh, normal day-to-day sucks, good versus evil, um, what's wrong with people kind of way, you know, um, if things are going bad, alright, so there's a, there's a Churchill quote, right, um, if you find that you are in hell, just keep moving, and some country people, singers, and just keep swimming, uh, you know, another Disney movie, one foot in front of the other, <clears throat> if it sucks, that is good, as Jocko would say, and don't, don't let it beat you down, don't let it get you down, don't let the world grind you down, never let them see you sweat, never let them see you frown, don't change, you are like a stone wall, right, you are strong, you're stronger than you know you are, uh, you're stronger than you believe you are, but I'm telling you, I believe in you, you are strong enough to do it, um, if you weren't, you wouldn't be a cone, right, you wouldn't be trying to do what you're trying to do, um, it's a worthy task, it's a noble Profession, lifestyle, religion, um, but I'm, I'm not trying to romanticize it. Uh, I'm listening to a book about Stonewall Jackson right now called Rebel Yell. Uh, very well written, uh, very knowledgeable on the subject. It's like eight and a half hours long, maybe nine. Um, but I, I mean, but the entire Civil War is romanticized. You know, like the War of Northern Aggression, or you know the against the rebels, Johnny Red winning, you know. I'm hoping to figure out why we romanticize it. And I, you know, remember being young and thinking I was impervious and immortal and indestructible and, and then your friends start dying and then, you know, you're just like... <sighs> it's a rude awakening when you, you figure out 
<laughs> someday you're gonna die, I guess. But someday it could be a lot sooner because, um, I don't know. Uh, so, you're having a rough go on life. You're having a rough go on training. Alright, so first off, if you can avoid the trouble, stay out of trouble. You know, if you can avoid the pitfalls of life, uh, you know, wear a condom, be safe, don't do drugs, don't drink and drive, don't underage drink, don't, don't do anything stupid. If you can do those kind of things, then, you know, whew, you'll be pretty set. So, great book, The Court Martial of... Um, I was going to say Jimmy Doolittle. Uh, um, uh, it's been a rough week. I've been suffering, in, or a couple weeks actually. That's why I've been quiet. I've been suffering silence on my own stuff. Um, you know, you stay in the fight. You keep on going, you do your best. Uh, sometimes your best ain't good enough. <laughs> uh, sometimes you're bound to lose. You know, I mean, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say uh, I was born to lose. You know, I'm not. I'm born to win. Uh, much like a uh, favorite PJ of mine, reservist, gonna be a doctor, good dude, a football player extraordinaire. Uh, Really born to lose or born to win, born to be lucky. <sighs> I just haven't felt like uh, anything really to say because uh, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see the issues that were coming. Come. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can see things, maybe you can't. Uh, like I said, this entire uh, podcast. <clears throat> the, the entire goal of my YouTube channel is for you not to make the same mistakes I have made, will make. Um, aim for quality, not quantity, in everything. Oh, man, I know you're like, you're so crazy. Where you're going. 
shaped by the events that, that happened to us. We're shaped, you know, nurture nature, how we're born. Can you make grit? Are you born with it? Do you develop more? Uh, we've had that talk before too. Yes, 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 yes. It, it's all your DNA. It's who you are. It's your soul. It's your pur- Do you know your purpose? I mean, I think you could maybe have a weaker DNA, you know, a weaker chin, but if you have a purpose, you know, that, that staunch upper lip, or that, that stiff upper lip, you know, that the, the British are well known for, for World War One and World War Two, since they suffered such, uh, I mean, not Russian losses, but uh, the Brits, well, I mean, everybody suffered, uh, but, you know, the UK's got a different way of handling that drier sense of humor than us, uh, but I think that humor comes from World War One and World War Two, where they're just like, <laughs> like uh, pleasant day for a, a battle, eh? You know, and you're like, and then that's horrible. British, I don't attempt British accents, but you know, it's we'll have our battle in the shade, but not quite as uh, strong as uh, Dionysus. You know, in their own kind of way, and because I, I believe Dainiki said it with more strength than than humor, and uh, I believe by the time I got to England, it was more humor than strength, but but more of a nonchalant. Uh, and that's why the the French have really good pastries because they're like, you know what, we're all gonna die and be taken over by the Germans tomorrow. Let's let's at least eat well and have it really sweet because life is sour. And, uh, I mean, look at that. There's two nations who suffer in silence, and that's their way of coping with stuff. Um, in America, we just take a selfie and put out a thing on Facebook and say, Oh, my life is horrible. Someone pray for me, help me. If, if you're having a bad day, things are bad, have one friend, maybe two, maybe three. But <laughs> it's friend and not the entire world, you know, oh, because I'm telling you somewhere someone else has it worse than you, uh, except for that one, hopefully it's only one day in your life that you were the lowest person on the totem pole for life sucks, uh, and hopefully you're not there very long, and you gotta feel bad for the poor woman, man, child. your place, so find that regimen, find your process, find your pattern, find your groove, find your rhythm, find your wave, find your note, find whatever it is that's going to get you through that, and then find how am I going to get there, right, I'm going to do this, every day I'm going to swim, or every day I'm going to avoid assholes, or every day I'm going to, you know, wake up, do you? Some yoga, I'm telling you, it's awesome. They teach you to suffer in silence. Uh, I believe if you can survive some hot yoga, some Vishayana, some Ashatanga in, in the heat, or some Bikrams, you will uh, definitely be prepared for Indoc because that is what Indoc feels. Uh, so, yoga is pain, life is pain. Anyone that tells you otherwise, princess, is lying or selling you something. So, you just, you just keep on swimming. That's all you can do.
by Steve Pressfield. Amazing. Check it out. It's fire. Uh, God even said that's his favorite book before the Bible. It's, it's amazing. Dude, great book. God. <laughs> that's how much I love that I would, I would blaspheme. <laughs> People are like, what? I'm just quoting a man. Either deity. Uh, amazing book. 